Every personal injury case in our office, we have medical liens that need to be resolved when the case resolves. Clients often say, well, why do I have medical liens associated with my case? So a lot of clients that come to me, um, they're um, people with limited means and maybe they don't have health insurance, maybe they don't have good health insurance to get access to good doctors. I arrange for them to see excellent doctors um, and I, we work out what's called an ANA or a letter of protection and I agree to make sure that they get paid out of their um, out of the recovery and the client has to agree to this too. So the client, the lawyer, the medical provider all sign off on a document saying, uh, Mr. Doctor, Mr. Medical Provider, you give excellent treatment to my client, we'll, we'll make sure that your bill gets resolved when the case resolves. Otherwise, some of our very deserving injury clients wouldn't have access to top shelf medical treatment like I want them to have. A lot of times the medical liens can be negotiated down. A skillful lawyer can negotiate down the amount of the medical liens. We do that here. In fact, we have a whole uh, group of very skilled paralegals that help the lawyers negotiate the medical liens. Now, the other types of medical liens you could encounter are government medical liens, Medicare, Medicaid, um, military, we have a lot of military in this area, TRICARE is another one. These are trickier. The government is a little more difficult to negotiate with. Um, sometimes you have private health insurance, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, United, Kaiser. They assert a lien. They have a right to assert a lien. If they pay for your medical care and you get a recovery and it was uh, due to the negligence of another party and you to get a recovery from them, buried in your insurance documents that you agree to with them is a right for them to assert a lien over your case. They do that sometimes. And your attorney has to resolve that lien with them. So just understand that there, there most likely will be medical liens associated with your case. Be patient, work with your lawyer to get those done so you can get your case resolved.